Hello students, uh, welcome to Form 2 Mathematics and today's session we are going to uh, check, we are going to focus uh, on Nectar 2017 and in Nectar 2017 actually there is no uh, big difference uh, between the format of this exam and the previous uh, discussed exams. So far we have discussed uh, Nectar 2020 Nectar 2019, Nectar 2018, and now we are in Nectar 2017. So, uh, by the way, uh, when we check the instructions, as you can see here, the time allocated for this exam is two and a half hours the common time and as we said this is basic mathematics the exam was done on tuesday 14th 2017 in the morning and the instructions are the paper consists of 10 questions and these questions are compulsory questions uh, students are supposed to show clearly all the workings and answers in the space it provided. So we have space here, as you can see, this is the entire space whereby students are going to work on solutions of the questions. And also, uh, all writings must be in blue or black ink, except when you, you are going to draw, you have to draw it by using a pencil. And the students are allowed actually to use four figure mathematical tables, geometric instruments, and the graph papers. But all communication devices and calculators are not allowed in the examination room. And the students are supposed to write their examination number at the top right corner of every page. So, for example, in this page here, you can see that actually uh, Candace's examination number has to be written there okay so we go straight uh, forward to questions so question number one uh find the locm and gcf of 13 52 and 104 so here is solution we are going to use prime factorization so we have 13 52 and 104 so by prime factorization, you're going to start with 2 to 13, 26, 52. By 2, it is 13, uh, 13, 26. By 2 again, it is 13, 13, 13. And by 13 now, it is 1, 1, 1. So LLCM. LOCM is a product of these uh, prime factors, two times two times two times 13. It is eight times 13, which is 102, sorry, 104. And GCF equals to, now GCF we are looking for a number actually which can divide all three numbers without any remainder. And for our case, we can see that only 13 was a number uh, actually which divided all three numbers without having any remainder. So we can say that GCF is 13. Next question, question number 1B. Round off the number 56, 8, 3, 5, 60 to nearest thousands and ten thousands. So solution. Uh, five, six, eight, three, five, six, to nearest thousands. So this is approximately equal to five, six, eight, zero, zero, zero. It is approximated to nearest thousands. And the same number, five, six, eight, 356 
is approximately equal to so the number corresponding to the position of 10,006, but after 60, the number uh, which follows is 8, a number which is greater than 5. So we are going to add a 1 to 6, it will be 57, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. And this was approximated to nearest 10 thousands. So that was question number one. Question number two, determine the improper fraction of, uh, we have to do operation there, we have three over five times four and one over five plus 18 over 25. So first of all, we have to express uh, four and one over five into improper fraction. So it is three over five times 21 over five uh, plus 18 over 25 equals to 63 over 25 plus 18 over 25. The result is equal to uh, 3 plus 8, it is 1, 6 plus 1, 7, 8, 81 over 25. Uh, so because we're supposed to determine the improper fraction, now this is equal to 3 and 5 over, sorry, it is 3 and 60 over, over 25. It is 3 and 60 over 25. Good. Next one, convert 1 over 3 into repeating decimals. So 1 over 3 uh, is the same as taking 1 divided by 3. And we know that uh, when you take 1 divided by 3, uh, it is 0 because 1 is less than 3. So 0 times 3 is 0. You have 1, 0. 3, it is 9, nine 10 minus 9, it is 1, 0, again 3, it is 9, again 1, 0, 3. So it continues like that. So 1 over 3, actually this is 0 0.333, uh, it goes to infinity. So we can just conclude that 1 over 3 equals to 1.3 dot, dot mean that the number uh, 3 is repeating. Question number three A, convert 15 kilometers into centimeters. So first of all, actually we have to know that one kilometer equals to 1,000 meters. And we know that one meter equals to 100 centimeter. So meaning that one kilometer equals to 1,000 multiplied by 100 uh, so now you get centimeter equals to 100,000 centimeter. So 15 kilometer will be 15, uh, zero, 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 zero centimeter. We just multiply the, this one here by 15. So you have 1,500,000 uh, centimeter. Dear friends. Question number three B. Find the time in which 200,000 shillings will earn 48,000 at the rate of 4% interest per annum. So we were given principal, it is 200,000 shilling. We were given interest, which is 48,000 shilling. We were given a rate is 4%. You're supposed to find time because to how much. But we know, of course, that our simple interest is PRT over 100. So we can make T the subject. You have 100I equals to PRT. What we did here actually, we crossed the multiplications like that. So T equals to 100. I divided by PR. So T equals to 100 
times 4, 8 thousand divided by P, which is 200 thousand times R, which is 4. And because we have five zeros here, one, two, three, four, five, we can cancel with five zeros again, one, two, three, four, five. So we have 48 divided by eight, you get 60 years. So find the time, actually the required time, the required time is 60 years. Question number four. In the following figure, AB is parallel to PQ. Uh, we have seen that AB, line AB is parallel to PQ, okay? So we are supposed to, and we are given PQ and RS, uh, sorry, RS is a transversal, R is transverse, so find the angles labeled A, B, W, X, Y, and Z. So from this diagram, uh, we can see that actually uh, you take X plus 150, you get 180 degree because it is a straight line. So X is 180 minus 150, X equals to 30 degree. So X equals to Z equals to 30 degree because they are vertically opposite angles, and y equals to 150 also, because they are op vertically opposite angles. And also, y equals to z, y equals to z, sorry, y equals to w, which is equal to 150 degree, again, alternate angles, and w equals to b, equals to 150 degrees and A equals to 30 degree like that. So we can conclude directly that A equals to 30, B equals to 150, W equals to 150 X, Y, so X, Y, Z, so X equals to 30 degree, Y is 150, and Z is 30 degree. Question number 4B, find the perimeter of a square if its area is 25 centimeters square. So we are having a square Uh, we can, we're going to assume that its side is x, x. So we know that area is going to be x square, 25 centimeter square equals to x square centimeter square. So x square equals to five square, meaning that x is five centimeter. So now what is the perimeter? Perimeter, we know that it is x plus x multiply by two, it is four x equals to four times five centimeter, you get 20 centimeter. So perimeter uh, of the square, perimeter of the square is 20 centimeter. Question number five, the last equation for this session. Find the value of x in the equation. Uh, so we were given equation nine times three power four x equals to 27 power x minus one. Power x minus one. So we're going to break down actually uh, numbers into, uh, into uh, actually lowest t a factor, so nine is three square times three power four x equals to three power three in the bracket x minus one. So the three power four x plus two equals to three power three x minus three. And now 
we can compare exponents. Why? Because bases are the same. So 4x plus 2 equals to 3x minus 3. Uh, collect like terms. So 4x minus 3x equals to 2 uh, equals to negative 3 minus 2. So x equals to negative 5. The value of x is negative 5. The last equation for this session, factorize the expression 60x square minus 11x plus 4 by splitting the middle term. So how do we split the middle term? We know that the coefficient here is a, this is b and c. So we are going to split the middle term in such a way that ac uh, uh, we are going to find a product of two numbers AC such that A plus B, sorry, A plus C equals to B. So for our case, AC, AC equals to 6 times 4, uh, which is 24, 24, and a plus C, think of two numbers, when you multiply them, you're going to get negative 11. Uh, when you add them, you're going to get negative 11. So it is negative eight and negative three. So now we are going to say that 60X square minus eight X minus three X plus four. So uh, we're going to take two uh, X out of the bracket. 2x remain 3x minus 4 minus 1, 3x minus 4. And 3x minus 4 is common. So 2x minus 1, 3x minus 4 uh, is also within the bracket. And you have seen that now, actually, the equation has been factorized already. So we are having 6 square, 6x square minus 11x plus 4 being equal to 2x minus 1, 3x minus 4. So that is the end of uh, session number one. It was a Form 2 National Exam 2017, session one. Hope we are going to continue with uh, the second part, whereby we'll be solving uh, the remaining five questions. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, you can ask your questions in the uh, comment section so that you can shape the way we are sharing these contents. Uh, thank you very much and I wish you all the best in your studies.